All right. Now, uh, principle of conservation of energy. Okay. Uh, here we have two types uh, of conservation of energy. First is about conservation of just energy. The second one is conservation of mechanical energy. So now, what's the difference between energy and mechanical energy? Ah, uh, energy includes all all forms of energy. Okay, energy can be in the form of kinetic energy, potential energy. Uh, not just the potential energy and kinetic energy, but it also includes heat energy and sound energy. Okay, whereas mechanical energy, mechanical energy only includes kinetic energy and potential energy. Uh, no heat energy, uh, no sound energy, just kinetic and potential energy. Yeah? Kinetic energy and potential energy, that is uh, mechanical energy. Uh, potential energy, it has uh, the gravitational potential energy or elastic potential energy. Okay, so all kinds of kinetic energy and potential energy. Okay, total the, the total the kinetic energy and potential energy. That's the total mechanical energy. Okay, so if we not if we just talk about energy, not the mechanical energy. If energy, it includes all forms of energy. Yeah, include the heat and sound. But mechanical energy, just these two. Kinetic energy and potential energy. Okay, conservation, conservation of energy, meaning that yeah, in a closed system, the total energy yeah, for this context we are using energy. I just want to make yeah, make, make things clear. In here we're talking about energy. Uh, the next one is talking about mechanical energy. For this one, uh, conservation of energy means that uh, the total energy uh, initial and final equal uh, yeah, in, in total initial energy equal to total final energy constant okay so maybe in the process there's energy loss uh, this energy loss is not energy destroyed uh, it's different it's not the energy destroyed energy cannot be so it's not it's not about energy destroyed uh, energy cannot be destroyed, cannot be created, cannot be created, cannot be destroyed. Uh, the, that's why, yeah, because energy cannot be destroyed, that's why the total initial energy is equal to total final energy and always constant. The total energy is always constant. Okay, but for this conservation of energy, we assume got energy loss and just not destroyed. Yeah? It's energy loss. This loss, it means, uh, loss means energy converted from the form of kinetic energy or potential energy to other form of energy, like heat and sound. Uh, so the, here, the energy loss, here it means it convert from kinetic energy or potential energy to heat energy or sound energy. Yeah, why? Why we, here we have energy loss? Uh, due to the heat energy, yeah, because convert to heat energy, uh, because we have uh, work done against friction. Let's say the object moved through a rough surface, okay. So of course there is a um, you know friction happens, okay. Uh, so the potential energy or the kinetic energy will change to heat energy because got the friction, yeah, because rubbing against the rough surface. Yeah, this that is called work done against friction. So this part is the energy loss. Uh, this part is the uh, energy loss. Uh, work done against friction. Okay, so uh, that's why um, the you know this. Uh, okay, just want to write it down here. Ah, uh, that's why the total initial, yeah, total energy initial. Yeah, it's more than uh, the total and uh, you know the total initial mechanical energy is more than or what you can say the total initial potential energy plus kinetic energy is more than total poten total final potential energy plus total final kinetic energy. Okay, why why uh, become less the final and uh, the final potential and kinetic energy because some part of the energy here has converted to heat energy. Ah, uh, yeah, 
uh, that is what, what we call energy loss uh, energy loss but if we include this energy loss into the total final energy they are equal that's what we call we, we say conservation of energy okay uh, so how to calculate this uh, work done against friction uh, by the formula we have learned before work done against friction uh, we just use the formula f dot s uh, f dot s okay and then we use the formula f s uh, f s cos theta uh, yeah normally this one the theta is 180 degree yeah refer to the previous video i explained why it is 180 degree okay uh, but normally to for uh, for this part we normally we modulus it we modulus it because we only want the positive value uh, we want to make all this value become a uh, positive value uh, because we only want the magnitude of it we only want the magnitude we don't want the negative sign we only want the magnitude of it to put into here uh, then uh, it will not disturb the equations okay so to calculate the work done against friction how much energy has converted to heat energy due to friction uh, we use the formula work done yeah which is f dot s uh, f s cos a t and cos theta okay uh, so energy is not destroyed energy is just lost uh, energy loss here it means it convert to heat energy so energy is actually is not lost it's not lost it just convert to other form of energy like heat okay uh, so in terms of uh, total energy where we include all kinds all forms of energy including the heat and sound energy the total initial energy is still equal to total final energy uh, this one that means assume got a, uh, energy conversion to other forms of energy other than mechanical energy like heat and sound okay now about conservation of mechanical energy we assume no heat no energy loss okay that means why why we say no energy loss that means uh, it, it still maintain here it means it maintain the energy all maintains in the form of in the form of uh, potential energy and kinetic energy uh, all maintained in the form of uh, we can say the mechanical energy Ah, because this potential and kinetic energy they are called the mechanical energy ah, yeah? ah, that means it maintain yeah? and means I mean maintain in the form of all the energy maintained in the form of potential and kinetic ah, so conservation of mechanical energy we assume no heat no energy conversion to to other forms of energy yeah or is still maintained in potential and kinetic so we can say the total initial mechanical energy is equal to total final mechanical energy all in the form of potential and kinetic energy so the total initial uh, is the total mechanical energy is always constant last time is total energy is constant this time is total mechanical energy is constant that means uh, no uh, always maintained in this form u and k so in other words we can say the initial the total initial potential and kinetic energy okay uh, is equal to total final potential and kinetic energy uh, remember this potential energy is not just the gravitational potential energy okay it also include the it also include the no i mean here the potential energy is not just the gravitational potential energy it also include the elastic potential energy understand because potential energy has two kinds one is gravity one is elastic potential energy understand this potential energy here yeah, the initial and final uh, so that's about mechanical energy yeah mechanical energy is only the form of kinetic and potential okay so now uh, look at this one yeah we uh, let's say let's say now uh, this car obeys conservation of mechanical energy uh, so uh, conservation of mechanical energy that means it all maintained in the form of potential and kinetic we assume no energy loss into other form like heat okay uh, no energy loss into the form into other form like heat energy okay so all the energy is just potential and kinetic okay so look at this uh what we call roller coaster roller coaster we take this height let's say we take we set this height is height equal to zero yeah the pink color 
uh, we the pink color roller coaster okay it is, this height is equal to zero okay so height equal to zero from here so as you measure up uh, then you get the the height actually increases okay as you go up and higher and higher but at this level we make uh, the height equal to zero so the car over here has zero potential energy because potential energy is depend on height isn't it uh, it depends on height uh, the gravitational i'm talking about the gravitational potential energy is equal to uh, mgh so when height equal to zero potential energy equal to zero ah uh, okay so here potential energy equal to zero so here it must have the highest kinetic energy uh, it must have the highest kinetic energy okay uh, but when we when this roller coaster go up higher and higher go up higher and higher the potential energy increases the potential energy increases you see from 0 to 7000 become 10000 potential energy increases because because the height increases uh, what you can say is when the height increases the potential energy increases all right uh, until the maximum height we consider a maximum height let's say the car over here uh, um, uh, okay um, it has the maximum height it only has the potential energy okay so uh, the potential energy here is uh, 10,000 okay so where is this 10,000 come from this 10,000 actually all comes from the kinetic energy okay look at this uh, car at the lowest uh, at the bottom here it has the maximum kinetic energy okay maximum kinetic energy when it go up all this kinetic energy has changed to potential energy you see 10,000 it had it below here it only has kinetic energy uh, but zero potential energy because zero height when it go up higher and higher this potential and this kinetic energy become lesser and lesser you see that when you go up higher uh, i just want to write something here uh, when you go up higher the kinetic energy actually decreases uh, but uh, when you go up higher and higher the potential energy increases uh, potential energy increases because uh, when you go up higher and higher all this kinetic energy is slowly changing to potential energy uh, that's why all this uh, at the lowest here it has the maximum kinetic energy when you go up go uh, go further up uh, this kinetic energy decreases okay like you see 10,000 become 3,000 so where is the ballot where is the 7,000 difference the 7,000 difference here has already changed to potential energy gravitational potential energy uh, and then go to the maximum height the kinetic energy drop to zero yeah the car like stop temporarily there no velocity okay no kinetic energy why no more kinetic energy uh, because all the kinetic energy has changed to uh, gravitational potential energy uh, so 10,000 become 10,000 here you see that uh, uh, because of conservation of mechanical energy we assume no energy loss uh, assume no energy conversion to heat energy all energy maintained in the form of potential and kinetic only okay look at here i want you to compare between two different points yeah i want you to compare between the orange one and the green one uh, the orange one is actually the same level as the blue car isn't it uh, many students say oh this uh, this orange car is at the it's, it seems like at the maximum height of a smaller height actually uh, at the maximum height so this small this orange car at the maximum height here should actually have a uh, zero kinetic energy and maximum potential energy it only has the potential energy can we say that can we say that oh uh, this orange car also at uh, a certain height at a maximum height here uh, uh, yeah at a certain uh, maximum height here so it only has only has kinetic energy no potential energy is it correct no we must know that this height this maximum height is actually lower than another maximum height you see that this green car it is at a much higher height ah uh, so 
um, here the, the, the highest height here should have the zero kinetic energy. Uh, here you have all zero kinetic energy. All energy is only the potential energy. Uh, but this, this is a lower height, lower maximum height. Lower maximum height, that means it still have some, um, it still have some, uh, what I can say is, it still have some kinetic energy. Okay, it still have some kinetic energy. Uh, U plus K. Uh, don't just say, oh, the kinetic energy here is also zero, yeah? because it's a maximum height. No, this maximum height is actually lower than the another even higher maximum height. So here, the kinetic energy is not zero. Uh, it's, uh, it still has some value. Uh, so from here, I can see uh, here it has it still have 3,000 joule of kinetic energy. The potential energy is just 7,000. Uh, actually, this height is the same height as this purple car here. Uh, so both of them have the same potential energy and same kinetic energy. So this orange and this purple, both of them, uh, they have potential plus kinetic energy. So this orange car is still have kinetic energy. The kinetic energy is not zero over here. Understand? It's not zero over here because we have a much higher maximum height. Uh, that much higher maximum height has zero kinetic energy. But this one is not zero kinetic energy. It still has some kinetic energy. Okay? Uh, so you, you look at this car move up and move down through the track, yeah, this roller coaster. So uh yeah so uh when moving down uh the kinetic energy increase yeah? kinetic energy increase but potential energy decrease uh yeah it's like potential energy change to kinetic energy but when going up again the kinetic energy decreases but potential energy increases it's like go when going up all the kinetic energy change to potential energy uh, okay so that's uh, what i want to say yeah so not always at the same level, at the same level, they have the same potential energy. Like this orange and this purple car, they have the same potential energy, 7,000. Uh, okay? So when you're comparing, we're comparing the same height, they always have the same amount of kinetic energy and also the potential energy. Uh, but at different height, then the value of potential and kinetic will be different. Okay, so that's all about um, conservation of energy. Okay, so energy, remember, energy got, can con uh, energy got, we assume got energy loss. Yeah? Energy can convert to other form of energy, got work done against friction, got work done against friction. But conservation of mechanical energy, we assume no, no energy loss, no work done against friction. Okay, all the energy maintained in the form of potential and kinetic energy. Okay.